Hello, this is Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing this penguin today that I made on a live at a Happy Hoarders channel a few days ago. I'll link her channel in the live down below. And we're going to be using Jenga blocks. So we're going to start with, off with two at the bottom. And I didn't do two, three, four, five um, as, as we went up because it didn't make a good um, shape. So I'm using the width of the Jenga block to go to make the next level up. We'll see here in a second. As I place the next row down, I get the Jenga block and line it up to the width of the, the Jenga block so that way it's only, I think it's about a quarter of an inch overlap there. And I'll do that to the other side as well. Again, I use another piece of Jenga to get the width and mark it with my pencil so I know where to cut it off. And to my left there is my cutoff saw, the little off screen. But here I'm trying to make sure that the line matches up with the blade before I cut it. So I, I test it a couple times. And then I bring the saw down a couple times and cut it off. I'm doing some planning for next year's videos um, for which animals I want to make besides this penguin. So if you have any ideas, um, just let me know what you want to see. I'm working on the fifth row here, um, the same way as the other four rows with the little Jenga block as the spacer. But looking at it after I made the second one, I think that fifth row should be the same as the fourth row and the sixth row. So the three rows should be the same. It makes a, a, a better look. 
uh, for my next one I'll probably do that Now we're up to the neck here, and after the neck we start increasing for the head. For the row after this, I'm going to use a Jenga block for another spacer to for the beak. So that way we, we have a spot to um, give the beak a little more surface to glue onto. Now I'm making the box that goes in the back of the penguin. This is optional, you don't have to do this. I just wanted to, to be able to add some papers, you know, some index cards or some greenery. Um, if you don't want to make the box, you can just get a couple more Jenga blocks on the back of it to make it stand on its own. And I'm using six blocks by two for the for front of the, um, the box and then six blocks by one for the sides. And then two by two for the bottom. For the first penguin I made, um, I didn't add these popsicle sticks until the end. Um, I found out that, that the where the neck, where it connects the neck to the body, it's a little wobbly. So I added some popsicle sticks to the back of it to make it more sturdy. Once all the pieces are dry, I'm using the lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree to cover up the gaps in the front of the penguin. I'm not doing the back because you're not going to see that as much. Just the front. And once that's dry, I use my sander and uh, smooth it out.
Now we're going to add the beak. We're going to have two different um, sized tumbling blocks. Uh, one, the one on top a little longer um, is about three quarters of the block. And then another piece under it. It won't fit in the gap, but you just glue it to the top beak. I don't glue the box to the penguin until the end because as you can see there on the first one I wasn't able to um, paint on the bottom because I glued it before I paint it so I'm going to glue them after I paint to be able to cover the whole thing. Now I'm going to be sketching the face onto the penguin and his body as well. I'm copying the first penguin that I did, but I used a Google image to give me an idea of how to paint his face. Now once you're finished sketching, I'm using the chalk paint from Waverly in white and also um, in ink for the black on the penguin. And just give it a couple coats. On the black I didn't have to do a couple coats, but the white I had to. Now that all the painting is done, now I can attach the box to the back of the penguin. I'm just using wood glue here and standing it up to make sure that it's um, straight. I'm using candy cane fabric for his scarf, so I wanted to add something to it. I'm painting a little one inch um, round here, and with my Cricut I cut out a vinyl to look like a peppermint. These are the same rounds that I use in my tumbling tower block living room where I made that micro tiered tray. Using my pinking shears I cut out a one and a, one and a half inch strip of fabric to use as a scarf and then about a half an inch for his um, rim around his hat. If you're liking this video give it a thumbs up share with your friends comment below what would you put in the little box in the back or would you put add a box to yours 
here I'm gluing down the scarf so it doesn't move around and then I'm adding a little peppermint to it and then I add some Mod Podge around his rim brim of the hat and the top to add some more of that faux snow from Dollar Tree and I also use some of the faux snow on the bottom of his feet I didn't show it but you'll see it at the end with, uh, with the pictures and I'm adding some greenery some little pine cones and a little berry to the hat I didn't show his eyes I used half inch half rounds for the second one and painted them black and then added the little dot 